Hi, it's Sonia again from Extra Craft Hub. The next workshop we're going to be looking at is about doodling and also colouring in as well. So the example here is a doodle that I've done fairly recently and it's quite a detailed one, but you can do lots of different ones in different varieties. Sometimes if I'm doing a fine one, I'll use um, maybe a fine pen or if more simple ones, I'll tend to use Sharpies or felt tip pens. For colouring in, we've got Sharpies, we've got Spectrum Noirs, uh, Winsor Newton Pro Markers, there's lots of different pens you can use but it's uh, it's your choice and then what we tend to do is just to give you some examples you've got the black and white versions that you start off and then here are some versions of once, how they look once you've coloured them in. This is something that I have done fairly recently again um, I'm also a sports coach so positive mental attitude is something I really believe in that's a coloured in version and there's the colour inversion of the one that I just showed you at the beginning. Also, this is the one where we're going to have a quick go at on how we can put something like that together as well. So, first thing I want to start off with, you just need some blank paper. And you need to decide what you're going to do as a design. So, you might want to start with something fairly simple. So, for example, you might want to start with your name. I tend to start on a scrap of paper. And then you'd write your name down. So, there you go. There's my name. And then I put it under the paper I'm going to work with so I can then use it as a template. You can either do it this way and then you can do it as bubble writing or you can do it from a computer if you're not sure. So then what you might do is you might go around the letters. So you're then creating using the template that I had underneath as an example for your bubbles. Once you've got your name, you can then think about how you want to do the doodles. And doodles can be anything you like. So if you're in meetings or you just like to doodle generally, it can be anything from zigzags, straight lines, whatever you fancy doing. It might be like a flower. It can be squares. And you just build up your doodles and you can make them as simple or as intricate as you want. Um, I tend to have certain things that I like to do a lot. One of the things I think looks quite nice is you can do swirly lines. So you can maybe do a swirly line like that. You can then maybe put bumps around the swirly line. You can put circles in. So lots of different ideas of how you can fill in the words. And again, this is one that I completed. And you can see the sort of thing that you can do. And as you start colouring it in, that can actually look quite special. So, first example then, using your name. Another thing people say to me, oh, you know, you make it look so easy. It's all really simple, you know, when you know what you're doing. Um, one of the most successful doodles that I've done is a flower. Now, what I tend to say to people is everybody can draw a flower. But there's nothing to stop you drawing a nice big flower. And then inside your flower, you can draw lots of other flowers. So you just literally keep drawing and drawing. And you can do little ones. You can put in circles just to fill in the gaps. And you can just keep drawing flowers until all your flowers are complete. You can add a leaf maybe. And again, you can put leaves on the leaf, whatever you feel like doing. And then obviously when you're finished, you can then just start colouring in your flowers. And again, that can be quite effective to do just flowers. You can do it with pretty much any shape. You might want to do a heart. You might want to do doggy paw prints. Um, again, I do quite a lot where I just do paw prints and I just might fill a shape with paw prints. So whatever you fancy, keeping it simple or complex. One of the designs I've just recently done was looking at um, the Exeter one that I showed you before. So this is quite a detailed one, I'm just finding it, and then a more simple version. So this one I actually printed off the computer, put the letter behind and then just traced over the word I wanted. So you can use any word, hope, love, someone's name, whatever you fancy again, and then you can do a simple design, squares, hearts, triangles, or a more complex like this one with all the little detail. The one I've just done 
which links to our current situation we're being shut down I wanted to do a heart so what I tend to do is I get a piece of paper I'm going to use a little red piece and I start off by working out my heart shape so I fold the paper in half and then I just decide how my heart is going to look just something like that and then I use that as a start to help me do my template for my heart okay before I do that I want might want to put some words in it so again I just printed off the words thank you and I put that behind and I actually traced around and did a heart but the one I did earlier was a bit bigger but you can start off with the word thank you you can either totally follow it or you can make it a little bit more abstract like I'm doing so again whatever you would like to do to adapt it for your own style so the word thank you now the heart that I've just done is smaller so what I would then do is put that over and then I would use that as a template to trace over what I want to design. And again, with what I showed you earlier, you can doodle in the word or you can doodle outside. So again, I would just start with maybe like a flower and then I might do some extra bits. I might do some swirly lines and I would just build it up and just keep doodling and just decide what sort of design you want to do. And like I said, this can be as detailed or as simple as you like. So you'd finish that off, get it all complete and you'd end up with something like this. I put a rainbow in as well because uh, again, another thing that we're doing with a lot of children at the minute is doing rainbows. So again, you've got your design you do, you do that. I tend to then copy it if I can, so I keep the original. So then you can do multiple copies. And then that's the finished version once you've coloured it in. Okay, so that's just another idea using different shapes and different words. The next one I'm going to show you is a simple one. Again, for children in particular. Or you want something that really requires no skill or ability to draw call it a scribble doodle so all you do is you start off this is great for younger children to have a go at with a nice swirly big scribble now you can again do it as complicated or as simple as you want and then once you've got your scribble you can either do it in color straight away or black and white you start filling in your pattern so you might say you want to do stripes or you might want to do circles and you just fill each of the sections with pen. The other thing you can do is you can go straight to colour. So you might want to just do, say, stripes again and use different colours and go straight into a colour. You might want to, again, do one of the sections and fill it full of flowers. Do a range of examples of different flowers that you might like and you can colour it in each section any way you like so it can either be left like that or you, again you can outline it or if you just like doing random shapes you can do zigzags And again, once you've filled all your shapes in, you can then colour them in and make them your own. So you can do a combination of things. What's nice with this sort of effect, like I said, that doesn't take any drawing ability and you can just enjoy sort of doing a scribble and making it more abstract. So this is one that I did again a bit earlier and you can see I've filled each of the sections with a different pattern. And this is a part coloured in one, so you can see how dramatic that can look by just using 
different colours, different techniques and just filling it in. So lots of different ideas, lots of different doodles that you can do. Hopefully that gives you a few ideas. And to finish, I suppose, just like to say thank you and look forward to seeing you at the next workshop. Sonia again from Extra Craft Hub.